And hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Dave Bondi. We have an interesting development in the case against former President Donald Trump. As you know, he was indicted on several charges in a federal court in Washington, D.C. earlier this week. Now, the special counsel, Jack Smith is his name, he is asking a judge to issue maybe not really a gag order, but in order to prevent Trump from talking about evidence in the case. I want to go ahead and show you on the screen right now. Let me bring up what is the big issue, what Trump put out on Truth Social that has people upset. Well, some people upset. Take a look at your screen right here, and I want to know what you think. You can leave your uh, comment below and share this video out because... I am reporting the news as it is. I'm not giving my opinion, just giving you the information. It's rare, I know, that the media does that nowadays, but I'm an independent journalist now, and that's what I'm going to do. So share this video with your friends. So Trump put out on social media, quote, if you go after me, I'm coming after you. The prosecutor, or the special counsel in this case, basically, and meaning that he is coming after the officials in federal court. Now, Trump did not say who he's coming after, but this tweet, you know, came out just days after he was indicted by a federal judge, or by a federal grand jury, I'm sorry. So Jack Smith is the special counsel in this case, and he wrote a letter he wrote a letter to the judge, and I'm going to bring this order up. It's really not a letter, uh, but it's a request. I'm going to bring this up and read it for you. Take a look right here, and it says, The government's proposed order is consistent with other such orders commonly used in the district. It allows the defendant prompt and effective use of discovery materials. In recent days regarding this case, the defendant has issued multiple posts either specifically or by implication, including the following, which the defendant posted just hours ago. And you see what he wrote down here. He wrote that on the screen. If you go after me, I'm coming after you. Now, in this post or in this, this court document, it says, if the defendant were to begin issuing public posts using details, for example, grand jury transcripts obtained in discovery, it could have a harmful chilling effect on witnesses or adversely affect the fair administration of justice in this case. So basically, the special counsel in the case is asking or ordering or asking a judge to force Trump not to disclose any evidence in the case. Um, but this is difficult for Trump because he discusses this all the time. And he discusses this when he is at his rallies and so forth. But um, I wanted to know, I, I wanted to know exactly what, what you thought of this, what your take was. Let me know what you think in the comments below. A lot of you are saying freedom of speech, but there's others who are saying that he is threatening the court or the judge or the prosecutor so, just wanted to know what you thought about this. And I wanted to come on for those of you who may not have known that this was going on. The court, uh, the court is asking for the uh, defense, Trump's attorneys, to reply to this by Monday. So, this upcoming week, we may know if a gag order or if Trump will be told not to discuss the case any further. We'll see. As of now, that's not that's not in place. Well, he's not supposed to, but we'll see what's going to come down from a court. Trump is scheduled to speak any minute now, I believe in South Carolina. So we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it.